Excellency the President, this is the biography of the late Honorable Evangelist Dr. Enoch Tai Benson. Captain of Israel's host and guide, before who seek the land about, beneath thy shadow we abide. The cloud of the protecting land, our strength, thy grace, our rule, thy word, our end, the glory of the Lord. Let us read in book 98, first stanza. The honorable evangelist, Dr. Enoch T. Mensah, also known as E.T. Mensah, as he is popularly known, was born into the royal clan of Clay Abodo Ram Ram on the 17th day of May 1946 in Kofrega in the eastern region of Ghana, where his parents are sojourned for work. His parents were Mr. Emmanuel T. Mensah, also known as E.T. Mensah Senior or Nietzsche Goldsmith, the Goldsmith of high repute, and Madame Isbeth Nati Poor Nati, a grapher of blessed memory, both from Afutuwe and Adjokawe of Clay Abodo clan of Rambram in the greater Africa region of the Republic of Ghana. Thirty years of life and education of E.T. Mensah, the late Honorable E.T. Mensah had his elementary education at Kofrega Methodist Primary School and later continued at Akrabo Methodist Primary and Middle Schools near school in the Eastern region where his parents are relocated and settled. In 1958, his parents moved to Ashama near Tema where he continued his middle school education at the Akosu Middle School in Tema Community 1 and completed in 1962 with an extension in the Middle School Living Certificate Examination, then known as Hall. E.T. Mensah left Tema in 1964 to live with his elder brother, the latest in Mensah in Mamprubi, Danzuma Nakra, who was then working at Accra City Council now Accra Metropolitan Authority here, where he attended SNAP's College of Accountancy and Secretaryship at Asalam Down in Accra. While at SNAP's College of Accountancy, he excelled in his course of study and was again the best student when he sat for the Royal Society of Arts examination and was consequently employed as a tutor in the college. He later established a school for business and management studies at Mamrubi called Institute of Business Education or IBE where he was the head. He held the Master of Arts MA certificate in theological studies and the Doctor of Ministry PhD certificate from the Vision International University, Ramona, California, where he was the valedictorian at the graduation ceremony. He was a fellow of good standing in the Institute of Financial Accountants, IAA, member of National Association of Public Accountants of the USA, and member of the Institute of Public Accountants, FIBA, Australia. Sporting activities. While at Across the Middle School, E.T. Mensah played a key role in the school's football team where his excellence in the game led him to be recruited to play for the now defunct Tema Hurricanes Football Club. He played alongside notable teammates as goalkeeper Peter Shalwa, Ovri Mambo, and Kimpele of Bezek Memory. He also played alongside Reverend Osei Kofi, 
The Americans and the name implied was a terror to teams like Asante Kotoko, Akara Hasoko during their stay in the Ghana Football League. E.T. Mensan of Blessed Memory was later recruited to play for Arugas and Hans of Oak, where he played alongside the likes of Sam Amaltefio, Ado Otamiti, Tommy Vanderboy, Mohamed Bolo, Anas Seyu, among others, between 1967 and 1976. During the early days of the late Tommy Thompson as chairman of Accra Support, E.T. became a member of the Welfare Committee during their exploits in the Africa Club competitions. E.T.'s football skills during the school days caught the eyes of the management of Labour Brothers, Ghana Limited, now Unilever Ghana ELC, to employ him to play for the company's team that participated in the Terma Interdepartmental Football League in the early 1960s. He traveled with the team to play matches in Nigeria and other neighboring countries. While it's working as political life and activity, while it's working at the University of Ghana, Lagos, where he was nicknamed Washington, E.T. Mensah continued with his activism where he joined a left-wing political study group comprising notable political servants such as the late Professor Kwesi Ochi, Comrades Chachu Chikata, Fui Chikata, Professor Kwame Kateri, Professor Techua Menu, Abutu Ampa Shishi, and others. This group later culminated into the now defunct New Democratic Movement or NDM. The group set up study cells across the country to educate working people on the tenets and principles of the class struggle for emancipation. The late E.T. and two other colleagues, namely Professor Wesley and the late Ibrahim Dubi, a senior civil servant, signed the first policy document of the group New Democratic Movement for India. This group worked as seamlessly to have to raise political consciousness of mainly workers across the country. E.T. was the sports minister who turned sports around in Ghana. Among his many achievements, he introduced professional football and Premier League clubs were directed to register as corporate entities. He also introduced sports policy, player transfer and sponsorship programs. He was also instrumental in the introduction of the National Youth Policy, which was rolled out in 1999. Our late Honorable E.T. Mensah was a founding member, National Youth Organizer, and Vice Chairman of the National Democratic Congress, NDC for short, for many years. He will be remembered as a member of Parliament for Ningo Rambram constituency for unprecedented five consecutive years. Also be remembered as a Minister for Employment and Social Welfare, Minister of Water Resources, Works and Housing. During those times, he also acted as Minister of Education and Agriculture. The late E.T. Mensah served as a member of government task force 
to oversee the implementation of the president's priority projects at the office of the president. Yi Ti Men San and Ram Ram. Yi Ti Men San's connection with Ram Ram stems from right from his birth, which made him a native of Ram Ram. Particularly, he was a royal of the clan Abodo clan of Ram Ram from Ajuka and Afutuwe. Royal, because his grandfather was Ajuka, the first mangrove of Ram Ram. As such, Yiji worked hard to help raise the status of Ram Ram, which used to be a trading route to the coast prior to Ghana's independence in 1957. Once a mayor of Accra, Yiji worked hard to persuade the central government to extend electricity to Ram Ram and Ingo communities in 1987. He also ensured the reconstruction of the road from the Winyan, Ram Ram Junction, to the main town, which was in a deplorable seat, and ensured that it was start. It is regrettable that it has returned to a deplorable state and we have been to the section of the president to do something about it for us. It also ensured that the bridge on the Yangi Lagoon was constructed, thereby reducing the travel time to only from 32 kilometers to 16 kilometers. The LTC was also instrumental in the creation of the Nimbo Ram Ram District Assembly. E.T. Mensa as a member of Council of State. E.T. was unanimously elected as a member of the Council of State with a 100% majority vote to represent the Greater Agra region in 2021, where he remained an active city member until his untimely death in October this year. It is position in governance and party. The late ET worked in various capacities in government and party. For instance, he was the PNDC Metropolitan Secretary from May 1982 to June 1992 making him the longest serving mayor of Accra. Deputy EMDC Secretary for Youth and Sports from 1982 to 1993. Minister for Youth and Sports from 1993 to January 2001. National Youth Organizer of the National Democratic Party of NDC, Vice Chairman of NDC, and Member of Parliament for Nico Bram Bram from 7th January 1997 to 7th January 2017. He was also the majority chief whip from 7th January 2009 to 2nd February 2010. Last but not the least, he was first deputy minority whip from 2005 to 2008. Family life. Personal is an interest. The Honorable E.T. Benson was a family man, married to a sweet wife with seven children surviving him. He was a loving husband and a good father who ensured that members of his immediate family were brought up as the scripture as later. He was also an avid reader and for those who came into close contact with him, E.T. 
was not only an avid reader, but also he loved works of history, politics, and current affairs. He was well read in philosophy, theology, and English literature. He loved to sing hymns and loved reading the Holy Bible. One of his landmark achievements was his compilation of Lest We Forget. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click on the bell for more updates.